Good evening. I'm James Saderle. Welcome to Sports Monday. We sojourn to the Isidoro Beaton Stadium for Saturday's Game 2 in the Women's Amateur Tournament with Joel Fury in the role of host to Romberas of Punta Gorda. Last week's one all stalemate left the crown to be decided by Saturday's outcome, so here we go. Folks, we are only two minutes in when Shadali Ho goes back to her keeper, Jasmine Armstrong, whose much too casual manner allows Daisy Beltran to steal control of the ball and smacks it home into an empty net for the very early one in lead. Nine minutes later, Joel Fury responds. Mariela Morales gets this ball to Jada Brown, who handles to deliver a well-placed right foot shot into the far corner, and we have a 1-1 tie just like that. Jada Brown then follows up with this attack of the set piece, floated into the box, but this time she nullifies the goal by using her hand to assume control, that is, before shooting. At the other end, Daisy Beltran looks to double her tally, executing the steal to unleash this right foot bouncer that forces Jasmine Armstrong, whose diving attempt at the save is good enough to keep the tie intact. And Jada Brown then comes up with this pinpoint pass to Mariela Morales, whose right foot is denied by the near upright. Katie Jones gets busy, mounting one of her famous run at the Joel Fury defense, but this time, the double team strips her of the possession. Folks, we're some 14 minutes into second half, and it's Joel Fury on the attack when Rombera Zirma Martinez goes for the stop, only to find herself in a triangular crash of bodies that sees the Rombera's keeper. Also, we see Cecela Castillo, the fullback, and of course, Involved is Giselle Kanaki, and she's the only one who has to momentarily leave the fray. This is a nice run by Jada Brown, but the right foot shot is straight to the Rombera's keeper. Vailin Lambert, she receives a second yellow after tripping Katie Jones. Joel Fury is down to 10 players. Daisy Beltran raises this ball into the Joel Fury goal area that produces another three players crash. Katie Jones is on skate, but the goalkeeper Armstrong and her defender Julie Ponce crash into each other, but remain in the ball game. We're in extra time when Jada Brown launches another run at goal. She benefits from this collision between Cecela Castillo and a teammate wearing number five who takes down Miss Brown, thereby conceding a penalty. Joel Fury sends for Janisha Scott, who converts the penalty in impressive fashion with two minutes remaining in extra time of play. Here is the response when the long whistle blows. Joel Fury is filled with joy, winning the 2019 Women Amateur Football Tournament title, and we say congratulations to the champions. For Rombera, the disappointment is real. They came a long way, but had to settle for the runner-up spot. Hey, girls, stay strong because you've got something good going. Work on it. Meanwhile, Most Valuable Player Award went to Janisha Scott of Joel Fury. And we do say, you're big. Jada Brown, she received the Best Forward Award. So Jasmine Armstrong also, she took home the Best Goalkeeper Award, and teammate Mariela Morales, she received the award for the most goals scored. Rombera's walked away with Cecela Castillo receiving the Best Defensive Player Award, Ashley Rodriguez, the Best Midfielder, and Stephanie Barriente, the Best Young Player. We show you this picture of the Jewel Fury team as they celebrate their all smiles. We say big respect to you all. The CYDP champion emerged yesterday with FC Elite battling Barrack Road for the title. FC Elite takes the lead when Clinton Darson deals to Marlon Gutierrez, who heads it home for the one-zip lead. Barrack Road strikes back with this header from Harold Young. However, Leon Jones serves up this pass to Marlon Gutierrez, who makes it count to give FC Elite the 3-1 win, plus giving Gutierrez his double. We say congratulations to the champion. We now turn to the cycling scene, and we find some 30 elite riders rolling out from Data Pro on the junction of the Boom Road and the Philip Goldson Highway in an event presented by Raymond Catus. And well, 
thereof. But first, let's go to this junior sprint. It's Kenny Gongara on the pace as he takes hold of the ride, forcing David Banner into second. Dion O'Brien takes third, Fernando Rosado fourth, while Roman Card, he runs out the top five in this category. We're back to the elites, and this solitary figure is Sean Card, who might just be the state of the art in uncontested fashion. He rolls in for the big W. Hey, you're large. Some 35 seconds later, we find this two-man sprint for second place, and Herman Rikenia steps on the afterburners to edge out Devin Asweta. This trio, still in the hunt, battle for position, and it's Ernest Bradley who grabs the third place as Brandon Katusi rolls in across the finish line for fifth, while Zahir Figueroa, he had to settle for sixth place. Now meet the weekend warriors, also in the hunt, with Palace Joseph taunting Dwayne Wade, as he grabs the big W from Wayne, Valan Sims pulls up third, Ray Katu's fourth, and Alvan Gillett, he runs out the top five. On the basketball scene, the second Digicel tournament produced its winner Friday at San Ignacio. Daniel Nolberto, he shot for the game high with 21 points, while Frank Fuller put up 12 points. Brandon Flowers, he sh shot for eight points, and so did Johan Bermudez as they edged out San Ignacio Falcons for the title. For San Ignacio Falcons, Elvis Usher was the big man with 17 points. Kieran Molino, he added 15. While Ryan Carbajal, he threw up eight. Hey folks, I want to take this opportunity to wish you a Merry Christmas. It's that time when we all should come together and it's a time when we should behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Merry Christmas. I'm James Adderley.